Alright, hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask, episode 25. We have just dropped off three more eggs into this, uh... That. Laboratory. Well, I guess it's a, a tank. Yeah. The tank. Yes. And our next stop is these rocks out there. Pinnacle Rock. Yes. We are finally going to let the seahorse <laughs> go on its way. Yeah, the seahorse was found near Pinnacle Rock, so let's drop him off near Pinnacle Rock. Makes sense. I hate using the seahorse, but we gotta, for the greater good. Yeah, for the greater good of a potential heart piece, wink wink, you know, that's <laughs> just uh... Oh yeah. Okay, so, moving in here, this is Pinnacle Rock, and we need to go down here for, or in front of the signs. Now, this, there's, you know, it's right over there, so let's, let's just try and swim there. But if we try and swim there, we get lost in the murky water, and we end up back at Pinnacle Rock. So there's a whole ton of signs telling you which way to go, but the signs tend to point in random directions. Yeah, a lot of them so are just... So uh, there's a bit of a combination here. See, even the sign says it. Sea snakes, slayer ahead, do the murky water, you know, caution. So might, we might get lost. So the seahorse knows this area pretty well, so let's dump him out and see if we can get some help. It's a really big seahorse. Yeah. So, you have strange powers, I request, please follow me. So, um, the seahorse will kind of guide you in the direction you need to go. See, the sign points to the left, but you need to go to this sign and follow this sign over here. And, yeah. Um, if you've done this enough, you can do this without the help of the seahorse. But, but he's required for the heart piece. Yeah. To get, to get a heart piece here, we need the seahorse. So... That's I'm why we're using him, yeah. Taking the slow path here. Yeah, your pride's being hurt by having to use the sea horse. Uh, a little bit. So, um, I kinda skipped that, but basically he's saying, get rid of all the sea snakes in the area and I will be happy. So, there are seven sea snakes here, all in these can whoa. Whoa, Hello. there it is. All in these convenient holes, and in three of those holes, there are Zora eggs that we need to collect. So, this one just this has, has a, a pot. With a heart. To heal my half a heart. Because you really To heal my that. broken heart. Oh, yeah. And uh, magic, which is a better. little more helpful. Yes. Uh, I'm going to get the other one over here first. Um, Going top to bottom. Yeah, if you're not that great at using the Zora shield, um, there is another way to get these. You can just kind of sink down on the edge here, and um, you can, whoa, you can, you can hit their uh, the exposed neck parts here with the Zora boomerang. It just takes a lot longer, so I prefer to just do that. Yeah, that that does take a lot longer. Yeah. That's really the only, you only really want to use that other method if you have absolutely no magic. Yeah. And even if you do run out of magic, there are pots on the bottom of this area w w which can give you spare magic. So, but then if you're out of that, then you're out of luck. Well, not entirely. You just need a boomerang. Too. Well, you're out of luck if you want to yes. use your you magic want. shield. Yes. And this one just has more pots. Let's break them pots now. <laughs> we can't smoke pots. Squeeze Underwater. Me. No, that's a right shame, isn't it? You wouldn't do that anyway. You have a valid point there. <laughs> <laughs> Says the person, you know, I, I hardly ever drinks or anything. Yeah, I'm not too special. I don't either. Alrighty, here is Zora Egg number one of this area. We already got one. This is Zora Egg number two. Egg number two, I guess I was uh, not paying attention <laughs> <laughs> for the first one. I don't remember what we were exactly talking about. But, but obviously I wasn't focused on what, was, what you were doing. Yeah. My bad, guys. Alright, moving along. Here we have sea snake number four, I think. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to them either. <laughs> this section's well just then. gotta kill them all, you know? Yep. Yeah. Just like Pokemon. Gotta kill them all, gotta kill them all. And here we have another and, one. And that's the proper terminology for this section. <laughs> Instead of killing a box, you know, kill the sea snakes. Oh yeah. Mm. And over here I think there's a chest which contains Useless. 20 rupees. Yes. Who would put a chest at the bottom of, like, a dangerous well? I would.
and you know, if you want to protect your assets and then never go and reclaim them, then <laughs> I leave my world or in the will, I leave everything to these dangerous sea snakes. Yep. I hope they may enjoy my house and they will never see. Yeah. Just because I haven't shown how these guys harm you in any way, I think I'm gonna go do You're that. You're actually on gonna the last let one. that one. Yes. If you get too close to the opening of the sea snake's lair, um, they'll eat you and spit you out, and it looks something like this. You dare bring light into my lair? You must die. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of when you say lair. <laughs> so, for eating us, let's destroy him. And what a happy coincidence that the last sea snake also has the egg in it. So when you kill the last sea snake, this and if you got the seahorse, this scene is triggered, where, um, well, what in and in the hole of the last sea snake, there'll always be the seahorse, no matter which, no matter one which that sea you snake end is off it, with. Yeah. yeah. So when they're both together, you talk to them, and they give you a heart piece, and how cute they're in the shape of a heart, kind of. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. But we don't care. We so don't let's egg. just go snag this egg. And uh, we'll get out of here. So, um, yeah, that's all the eggs from the deep sea well. So now we gotta return back to the lab. So, again, um, to exit this place, um, you don't have to follow a maze back at all. You just kind of have to get lost in the murky water and then turn around and you're back. So, see you guys back at the lab. All right, we are back here for a third time, I think it is now. Yep, this is the third uh, time. Third and final, because now we have all no, of the eggs. No, not final, but final well, for final now. Final for the eggs. Because uh, those are dudes over there. Yeah, there is a little minor quest involving those two fishies. Yep, so we just get on top here and dump these fish in, or the eggs in, I guess. Yep. Watch on them sink. Because it's necessary. Mm-hmm. There's one. When I first played this game, I always thought you had to kind of angle yourself at particular spots so they didn't fall on top of each other. <laughs> I wasn't aware that they just naturally fell in different spots. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. they don't naturally fall in spots. They fall on top of each other. Oh. But when you leave and come back, then, then they'll, they'll be separated. Be, yeah. And I always thought you had to separate them. So, so uh, once you've dropped them all off, you go in front of the... Uh, you go in front of the area and the, the eggs hit. magically hatch. So let's watch these guys whoop, swim to the surface and how amazing that it you know, the back of the cage kinda looks like like hmm. That's convenient. That's a bit of a coincidence that they happen to take the form of notes. So the Zora children are actually the next song we have to learn. So let's take out our Karina, which is gonna quickly turn into a Zora. Zora bone guitar, and we'll whip it out. No, we have to talk to it, I think. I think you have to talk to him, don't you? Again, as a Zora. No, I don't think so. Yep. Yeah, but we have to whip out the guitar. Why isn't it working? Do you have to be closer to him? Yep. There we go. <laughs> I knew All it right, was so something to do with him. Da da da. Do do do. Do do do. And the new wave bossa nova. Oh. Yay! They're kind of creepy. It is a melody taught by it. Zora children that invigorate singing voices. Hmm. Well, let's go invigorate some singing voices. While well, we only know the lab guy starts freaking out there. Yeah. <laughs> I love his arms. Just look at that movement. We must play this song for the Zora who laid these eggs. So, um, let's go find her. The lead singer of the Indigo Goes. Go, go, goes. Lulu. Goes. As, well, said by Gorman. 
Plus, we got a glimpse of her when we played the, uh, when we played the, uh, the song from, uh, Mecca. That's true enough. Ain't taking nothing from that song. Did that sign really do anything to you? Yes. <laughs> I'm a Zora with attitude. So this next area... Area up! So this next area we have to go to over here, it... Okay, let's just, just let's swim, just swim and do it. <laughs> this next area we're going to over here, which... <laughs> uh, this next area we're going to over here is Zora Hall. And, um, I should start using this shield to kill stuff that's attacking me. And that's a valid point. Yeah, swim there's, into the fishy. Yeah, there's an open fish mouth, and if you look at the sign here, you can see it, it does indeed say Zora Hall. Now rehearsing the Indigo Goes. They're all rehearsing their stuff there, so... Welcome to Zora Hall, which also uses the music from Zoro's Domain. Yep. Who would have guessed? <laughs> so there's lots of stuff to have a look at in here, of which we are going to get around to doing eventually. <laughs> um, so the first thing is first. Notice big old, big old thing going on there. Um, there's a Zora standing in the middle there. I think this guy wants us to perform a sound check. Yeah, the guy by like the... Yeah, what do you want? Checking the stage. Mm. So there's something wrong with the lighting. So if you look around... Yeah, there's one there. There's one there. I think I saw one up there. One no, there. and one there. Okay, so... Um, to fix the lighting... Oops. You have to um, hit two torches with fire arrows, which is... A lot easier said than done, but hopefully I can... Well, from here, but hopefully I can get it on my first... Okay, there's one. And I think there's only two. Yep. Yep. So, you do that. And... The Zora is... Well, and all these torches then light up. And the Zora's all like, Hey, the lights are perfect. So, um... <laughs> yeah, go start your rehearsal. And then I'm not sure where this guy. Oh, he's just polishing. No, he's the oh, level yeah. checker. A little too quiet. Guess I'll turn it up a bit. Thanks. Whoa, it's a little too loud. Okay, he turns it down a little. It's a little too quiet. To nope, he just keeps cycling between loud and quiet. Yeah. So in other words, you just made the stage look pretty. Yeah. And then over here we have, um, yeah, Japaz's room and uh, a jam session. So let's go on in. And uh, this is Japaz. He is the bass player for the Indigo Goes. I love that they all look different, you know, for being Zoras. Mm -hmm. They all have they all their have little unique looks. Yeah. He's got, you know, long rock star hair. So we're just going to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure what what it is still, but whatever. So, um we're almost out of time for this video, so we're just going to quickly uh, this is a little shop there. <laughs> oh yes. And get an owl statue. Okay, so to all those people that approached me, look. Look. It doesn't work. You can't you can't hit the owl statue with Zora Link. You can't. You can't. You have to hit it with the sword. It's the only Which thing that works. Which we didn't have last time. Yes. So, then there's, you know, bombs, magic, arrows, and a fairy over here. Always convenient. No, come back. It actually did. Oh, wow, I can't believe <laughs> it actually back came back. Come back to me! So, I don't normally grab fairies, but I am going to grab one this time just because. Because you can, why not? So, over here we have Lulu, who's feeling kind of sad. She doesn't talk to you. So, we... And, you know, her voice is kind of down ever since she lost her eggs. So let's do some voice invigorating. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> yeah. She looks so invigorated. Oh, See, now there her we go. eyes got bigger. <laughs> Alright. She likes hearing our song. And now she's singing along with our song, even though it didn't have lyrics. 
to him. And her children who were born 30 seconds before they taught it to me. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how Zoras work. They are fantastic. Anyway, our song is also invigorating this island, which is actually a turtle. A turtle, which is also in the melee stage. Yeah. So, suddenly, a risen from the depths. The depths of the deep sea. Is this big old turtle. Uh, he slept really well. And then he opens his eyes. So, he just realized the passing of days is too quick. I don't think it says how long he was sleeping for. Yeah, he sees everything that occurs. So, he's saying, yeah, Great Bay needs your might to climb onto the back, and if we climb onto this big turtle's back, he will take us through the murky water to uh, the this temple, which is over temple. here, yeah. and if you try and swim out there through this water, or if you get too far, it'll just kind of go all foggy, like when I try to leave Pinnacle Rock, so, um, yeah, you, you, this is the only way to get... Yeah, that's right. This is the only way to get to the temple. You have to hook shot to the trees. So, um, we will not be doing this quite yet, but we have a couple of things to take care of around Zora yeah, Hall first. before yes. we do it. So, tune in next time for episode 26 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, where we will be doing nothing but playing music. So, a lot stay of tuned. Music.